Good morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Friday, July 14th. I'm Christy Matino. The Secret Service has concluded its investigation into a bag of cocaine that was found in the west wing of the White House, but they haven't identified any suspects. Saying there was no surveillance footage found that provided investigative leads to identify who may have left the illegal drugs in the area. Now, the Secret Service says this makes it difficult to narrow down the list to a single person out of the hundreds of people who passed through. Now, this news has angered many Republicans who say the investigation should be a top priority. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was one of them. He claims the Bidens are receiving special treatment. If you've done something wrong on your taxes, the IRS comes after you. If you're part of the Biden family, they wait six years so the statute of limitation goes away and you can take money from Ukraine. You can take money from China and you won't be found guilty. And Federal Trade Commission Chairwoman Lena Khan became the youngest FTC when President Joe Biden gave her the title back in 2021. But since then, she has attracted controversy from both the GOP and the business community. And that criticism carried over into a briefing on Thursday. Washington Examiner reporter Hasten Willis tells us more. FTC Chairwoman Lena Khan was grilled by Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee, with members questioning her legal moves, aggressive tactics, and whether she properly followed ethics advice. That Did she give you different advice than what was orally than was in the written memoranda, yes or no? Congressman, as was noted in the written memoranda, there was no ethics violation created by my participating but in the But you didn't matter. follow the DAO's advice, did you? You could have recused at any time, couldn't you? But Democrats on the committee rushed to Khan's defense, saying that any overreach came from the GOP. Will the Republican staff all commit to recusing themselves from any matters that relate to their work on the committee? Because that is the standard they are holding Chair Khan to. Khan is a Biden appointee, meaning that committee members cannot remove her from her post. However, they can work to significantly cut her budget as she continues her antitrust crusade. For the Washington Examiner, I'm Haston Willis. And the Screen Actors Guild, American Federation of Television Radio Artists, also known as SAG-AFTRA, voted to strike on Thursday. It's a move that has now shut down Hollywood. The union passed its second negotiation deadline with major media brands in an attempt to reach a new contract for film and television. Negotiations began back in June with a deadline of the 30th. That was then extended to July 12th. SAG after President Fran Drescher called for a message of unity among union members. We stand in solidarity, in unprecedented unity. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, AI. This is a moment of history. That is a moment of truth. And that's the news on the Wex Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.